your feet and come dance with us. Raise the game. Come on, raise the game. Are you ready? He gives us everything we could ever need to love the world around us, to be a light in darkness. He's with us every breath. He's with us every step so we can leave fear in the dust behind us. If you want to raise the game, he will give you strength to reach another level in Jesus' name. If you want to raise the game, he will give you strength to reach another level in Jesus' name. We are moving up, moving up. We are making it, making it loud. We're making it loud.
Hey Somos Kids, I'm so glad you're back here for another week on YouTube. It's so amazing and it's been so much fun doing these videos for and with you guys. And I really want to talk and finish up today about being the light of the world. But first, do you guys love summer as much as I do? I mean, okay, I know it's so hot, but it can still be pretty fun. So, take a few seconds and name your favorite thing to do in the summer. Go. Wow. Well, my favorite thing is to go swimming and having pool parties. It's so much fun because you get to cool off in the dripping heat. But, that being said, I do want to finish talking about being the light of the world today. Now, who remembers what we talked about the first week? All right, we talked about the light and the darkness, how Jesus is the light and sin is darkness. And we want to stay away from sin and go towards Jesus, right? So what we said was we don't want to be in the darkness. We want to be close to Jesus in the light. And then last week, the second week, we learned that we have Jesus living inside of us and he's a part of our lives and that we're kind of made after him so we can reflect that same light meaning we get to say I am the light all right isn't that amazing so let's go ahead and go into our memory verse for this series let's hear it from our friend Abby you are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden Matthew 5 14. Awesome. Thank you so much, Abby. Let's repeat it after me too. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Matthew 5, 14. Isn't it so cool that in that verse, it's Jesus talking to us, calling us the light of the world, but that means we have this incredible responsibility. It means we get to be the light and that means we can help our friends, our parents, our brothers and sisters. We can help them see the light and be the light too. We have this responsibility to share the light of Jesus with everyone we come across, with everyone you meet, with your best friends, your parents, people who sometimes get on your nerves too. We have this responsibility to share it with everyone. And we wanna be strong and brave about it too like a city on a hilltop, like the verse says. Now, I don't remember if you remember the first week, but we talked about the city of Juarez, Mexico, that when you're driving down I-10, you can see it for miles, and it goes on for such a long time. It's so big, you can see it from a long ways off. We wanna be brave and strong in the light like that, because even in the darkest of nights, you can see those lights shining and sparkling, and we wanna be just like that too. So, since we know that Jesus and his light is in us too, that means we're the light, and like we just said, we can share the light. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen the Disney movie, Princess and the Frog, but one of the best characters in that movie is named Ray the Firefly. He's so cool, he's a lightning bug with a really bright tail, and he's in love with a star named Evangeline and she lights up the night sky but the cool thing about him is he's a firefly and if you don't know much about fireflies they're these little bugs they're like flies you know picture a fly 
but their tail lights up in the dark. Isn't that crazy? Like little flashes of light. And when I was a kid, I used to get jars and go and catch these things and screw them in just so I could watch them all throughout the night. We would just stand in the backyard sometimes just to watch them fly around. But enough of me talking about it. Maybe we can play a video to show you guys some stuff about it. Do you see the flashes of light? That's the tail of the firefly. It's cute, right? Now we call them fireflies, but these are technically beetles. I just normally call them bugs. They always come between May and June, but most in late spring or early summer. They're one of the few insects that actually attract people, that people actually want to see. Some people drive for miles just to watch firefly shows. Some people catch them in glass jars to see them grow up close. And some families go out at night just to watch the fireflies light up the yard. They are good examples of natural light at night. No other type of bug is capable of imitating the flashes of light that the fireflies naturally produce. Their flashes are the fireflies' language of love. Wow, those fireflies can sure light up. But you know what? It reminds me of another verse in the Bible. And it's Matthew 5, 16, not long after our memory verse. And it says, In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Wow. Now, I don't think it's talking about the same kind of light of the fireflies where it lights up behind them. I think it's talking about Jesus, who is the light inside of us. And it's just so amazing that this is Jesus talking to us, telling us to let our light shine. But how do we do that? Well, one way is to love others like Jesus loved you. So you can go around and do just awesome, nice things for people. And one easy way to remember how to love others like Jesus loved you is to remember our Somos Kids values. We spent five weeks on them, so I hope you guys kind of remember them. But if you don't, here's a quick reminder. We talked about listening ears. I will listen twice as much as I speak, which means we take time to listen and understand before we just reply to people. We also learn about a kind mouth. And we said that we use kind words to honor and speak life into other people. That just means that we encourage people, we say nice things to them, we compliment them, and we're just, we're just generally nice to other people. We also learned about a humble heart, which is putting others before yourself. It means thinking, hey, what does this person want to do before trying to get your way? It means taking a step back and saying, I care about other people more than what I want right now. We also learned about helping hands. We learned that um, you're going to use your hands for helping and for sharing because that's what helping hands do. We dive in, we see if our parents need help cleaning up, we see if our friends want to share some of our toys and we do that with them because it makes people feel special. And we also learned about a positive attitude. And remember we said we will always choose joy even when it gets hard and we're going to feel bad sometimes and that's okay. But even when it gets hard, we are able to turn around and choose joy. So what we say and what we do is very important in how we treat others and show them love. You know, it's how people are going to see the light that's inside of us, right? I mean, we can't just say that we love others and we love Jesus. We have to actually go out and show it. And if we show that, people will have a chance to experience Jesus' love for themselves. So let me show you this project I've been working on. All right, let me, let me show you how to do it. I, I'm making a sun. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of like a sun. I'm not quite done with it yet, but if you wanna do this at home, you can too. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna cut out a circle, right? It can be any color paper. You know, if you wanna do white and then color it in with a marker and a crayon, you can do that. Or you can, if you have yellow construction paper, you can do that too. But you're gonna cut out a circle and then you're gonna write in the middle, I can share 
the light. All right, and now you're gonna take out other pieces of paper. It can be white or any color you want it to and color it in if you want it to. And then on top of that, you're gonna write different things you can do to share the light. Like don't complain or be nice, smile at others, pick up your toys, share, um, help, help, mom, help your mom at home, right? And you're gonna take those pieces of paper and you're gonna glue it on, right? Like this, I'll show you. I have two more, all right? So we're gonna glue them together. So here's this one. Let others go first. We're gonna glue it. Oh, let me get my glue stick off. We're gonna glue it, get some glue on there, get a good amount of glue on there. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it right there. See, and now I have one last one before I'm done. All right, and this one says to listen, okay? So again, take it, put some glue, all right? And then you're gonna stick it on again. And look, it's a sun with a bunch of rays of light coming out. Now what you can do is you can take this and hang it up somewhere that reminds you how you can share the light, what ways you can one, follow some of those kids' values, and two, be nice to other people and help them see the love of Jesus. All right, so parents, I want you guys to help your kids do this at home, please. It'll be so awesome if you can actually get them to do this with you. But, you know, when you're done, you'll have this whole thing that will tell you what to do and how to share the light. But let's go back to our Bibles and read this story. Going back to the Bible, Jesus had something very important to tell his disciples. So about after 40 days after Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he took the disciples to Bethany. Jesus was going back to heaven to be with the Father God. And before he left, he had a very important mission to give his disciples. Jesus wanted them to share the light the light of his love and the good news of forgiveness. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go everywhere and tell everyone the message of God's good news of forgiveness so that they would not have to be in the darkness, but be close to him and have his light in them. Jesus told them to go. Wow. So Jesus wants us to go and share the light. He wants us to go out and be the light that he made us to be. And we do it by doing the right things, loving others, and just treating other people the right way. You know, it kind of reminds me of one of the songs we do a lot. It's called Raise the Game. Now, you might know it and you might not, but in that song it says, he gives us everything we could ever need to love the world around us, to be the light in darkness. And that's so crazy because that's exactly what we're talking about, right? But then it goes on and says something else. It says, we're not afraid to power up and go, go, go. That means that we're not afraid to be the light ourselves and to go out ourselves. So like we used to talk and maybe you've heard from the pastor Sethio and Beatrice, let's go. Let's go be the light and let's go share that light. All right, we're gonna do that right now by starting with prayer, okay? So I want you to thank Jesus for sharing the light and giving us the opportunity to share the light and having the light in us. And then I want you to ask for the confidence and bravery to go and be that light and to remember to practice the Somos Kids values, okay? So 30 seconds of prayer starts right now. Wow, guys, those are awesome prayers. Now, I want you guys to remember the challenge for this week. It's to go out and make your own little sun. So parents, take a picture or a video of your kids making the sun, send it to us through Instagram, tag us, 
send it to the email somoschurchep at gmail.com and then they can be featured in next week's video showing their sons and then they can also just keep it and that's a great reminder of how they can share the light all right so remember what we learned today we learned that jesus wants us to share the light love others and go tell them about him so we're gonna end right now with some prayer all right so bow your heads and pray with me Jesus, thank you so much for the time today. Thank you that you are our light and that we can share our light with you, with you and others as well, Father God. Thank you for letting us reflect your light and be people who share your love so other people can feel your love too, Father. So I pray this week you help us be confident, brave, and strong in sharing that light and practicing the values we've learned so much about. And we do it all in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. So we're going to end today just a little different. So get back up on your feet because we have one more song. We're doing a song we just talked about called Raise the Game. And after that, it's done and it's over. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Raise the game. Come on, raise the game. Are you ready? He gives us everything we could ever need To love the world around us, to be a light in darkness He's with us every breath, He's with us every step So we can leave fear in the dust behind us If you want to raise the game, He will give you strength To reach another level Let's raise the game.